it loves Monday. When I wake up, I can see how much frost has crept up the glass. And uh, that tells me exactly how cold it is outside. So there's a lot of sweatshirts and a lot of standing in hot showers. Um, in Lent, when things are the way they are, when we're trying to see things clearly, I've been trying to imagine like, what are the guardrails for like seeing the world like this? And I don't know if it's just like the nature of my personality where I find it easier, you know, like I, I like, for instance, I, this is not secretly like a humble brag. Like I find it difficult to hold grudges. I feel like it's a weird, it's just like a glitch in my brain. It's not like a, it's not like a virtue. It's just like a, it's just like a black hole. Um, so I, uh, so I like really, I really admire people who are really good at telling the truth because it reminds me that like, that's a good guardrail is like the truth. And then on the other side, I imagine that it's love and that somewhere in between the two things, like, um, like when kids are bad at bowling and then they have to like, and you like fill in the, you like fill in the gutters on both sides. I imagine for me that the right choices, like the wisest choices are the ones that keep me keep me like in between truth and love. And when I think about how to like cultivate those sorts of virtues, I think a little bit about Madeline Langle, who I just love. And um, she had a couple, I wrote them down. It's a couple of really good quotes that I love. She writes about the nature of like trying to live there. She talks about blessing. And I think a lot about blessing partly because we just live in a hashtag blessed world. But she says, we must bless without wanting to manipulate, without insisting that everything be straightened out right now, without insisting that our truth be known. And like that to me is like the right place between the bumper rails of like truth and love. Like, yes, there's a million true things I'd love to say. Yes, they're not always loving, but like between the two, that like wisdom is found when you can like stay there. And so she says, in order to do that, one of the good practices to cultivate is like in finding ways to live between truth and love, maybe it's a good idea to bless people regardless of whether they bless us, whether or not they understand what we've been through, they understand what we know, um, that like a way to stand in truth and love is just to like develop the practice of blessing people. So she suggests, God's powerful love will do what our own feeble love or lack of it won't. I have suggested that it's a good practice to believe in six impossible things every morning before breakfast, like the white queen in Through the Looking Glass. It is also salutary to bless six people I don't like very much every morning before breakfast. So yeah, as we have to live in this not yet, one of the ways to like embody the space of truth and love, I think is just to try to bless the crap out of people, regardless of whether or not they get it or they know. So let's give it a try. Let's, uh, yeah, just picture in our minds six people who are kind of terrible. Let's <laughs> see. Can we imagine that God's love can just bless the crap out of them, regardless of whether or not they are embodying the truth and love that we hope for? So let me know how it goes. <laughs>